<clears throat> Hi everyone, and welcome to Monday Night Raw, or Moonday Night Raw. I, Tony Schiavati, Renee Young, I, Tony Schiavati, with Renee Young, and with Wade Barrett. And today on Monday Night Raw, or Moonday Night Raw, we're going to have a good show here today. Well, we don't know what's going to happen here today, but we are going to have a good show all the same. Well, we do understand that, we <clears throat> that we're going to have a good show here today on Monday Night Raw or Moonday Night Raw. Uh, Tony Schiavone says, I would believe that Gumford or Walter or whoever you go by saying that one name, you know, that he says he's, he says he wants to, <clears throat> that he says he wants to fight Cody Rhodes, or he at least wants the World Heavyweight winnings taken off of Cody Rhodes and given to him, Tony Schiavone says. Well, that's what he believes, Renee Young says. He also believes that he is done with Thor. He believes he doesn't have to wrestle or fight Thor anymore. But I truly believe that that, <clears throat> that is not over with. That that is still going on between each other, Renee Young says. Well, I can tell you one thing right now, uh, Wade Barrett says. You know, I could tell you something right now. I could tell you something right now, Wade Barrett says, that Mora is going to hope to get <clears throat> even with Adam Page, who hanged her, well, on Dynamite or Mike. You know. And now her, here comes for now to the ring now. And I wonder what Gumford's going to do to Thor, just like I wonder what Adam Page is going to do to Mora. And now here comes Thor now. Alright. I know some folks can't see me very well. I know I can't stand up in the ring, you know, truly well. But Gumford has now gotten it into his hair to Goomfer. How are you Goomfer, I think is how you say it. Goomfer. Uh, he's gotten it into his head that he thinks that that, uh, that they should take the TWF World Heavyweight winnings off of Cody Rhodes and give it to him. And that Cody Rhodes should keep the TWF Heavyweight winnings. I mean, where does he get off coming up with all of that from? This is a man who every time I have wrestled him and fought him, he hit me with my own hammer. And then he's got the gall to go around and talk about how he wants on look. And about how he wants everyone to onlook him. What have you done to have onlook? Tell me, what have you done that anyone should onlook you for? What, did you have the WWE NXT 4-1 Kingdom winnings for 800 and so days? When you were on NXT UK? That you were a bully and a creep or whatever? When you were in NXT UK, that you were on NXT, and apparently you were a bully and a creep there too. What when you went to SmackDown, and then won, and then later won SmackDown, being a bully and a creep there, and then winning the WWE Inter Land Body Winnings, and then going from SmackDown to Raw, and holding the WWE Inter WWE Inter Land Body Winnings for what 666 days. What, you're in a bully and a creep? What, you want the king of the ring? Did you want the world heavyweight wings and still hold that since SummerSlam? Oh, well. Well, forgive me, Goomfer, or, or Walter, or whatever you want to call yourself. I don't really see that's a man of onlook. You know, you like to call yourself the ring leader. Or, yeah, ring leader, that would be it. But you don't have anyone with you. You don't have Luffig Kaiser. You know, you, you kicked out Giovanni Vinci out of the Kaiser. Oh, that no, was Luffig Kaiser's doing. But yeah, it, it was on your oversight. 
I don't like. Okay. Okay, four. Be right there then. Well, here comes Goofer now. I do not like it when a fake god like you for the fake North God of Thunder scathes me for everything I did or doesn't give me on look for what I did in WWE on NXT UK and NXT and SmackDown and Raw. You know, I'm all about giving on look when I think, when I feel that a wrestler or fighter has done enough to get on look. And you haven't done nothing to get on look for. You're a fake god. So I'm not going to on look you. You know. And as far as you calling me a bully and a creep. The last time I looked. It isn't sinful and unlawful. To be a bully and a hill and a creep. And I've done a lot more things than you ever will do. I held the WWE NXT 4-1 Kingdom winnings that I beat Pete Dunne for and held it for 885 days until I lost it to Ali Dragunov. And then I went to NXT, didn't really win nothing there. I went to SmackDown and then I won the WWE Ender Lambody winnings from Ricochet held that for 666 days when I went from SmackDown to Raw. I lost that to Zami Zayn. But that's... I overlooked that shit. And then I went on. And then I won the King of the Ring. And then I... And then I went on. And then I won the WWE... I won the World Heavy Winnings by feigning Damian Priest. And I only lost three two times since I've been in WWE. I only lost once since I've been in the TWF. I don't have anything for you anymore because I took that hammer and I beat you with it every single time we ever wrestled or fought. So I do not think that I should be wrestling you. What I truly think is to happen is that the TWF leadership team, matchmaking team, whatever they like to call it, upper leadership, all the same here, the leadership gathering, whatever, to just take the Royal Heavyweight winnings off of Cody Rhodes and give it to me and Goofer, Walter, whatever you want to call yourself. Yeah, the TWF leadership team, along with the TWF map leadership gathering, also, to the TWF matchmaking team, does think that the TWF heavyweight and world heavyweight winnings should be broken up. However, they're not just going to break it up and give it to you, Goomfer Walter. Two, you got a war or a wrong with four that has not been settled. And you behaving like you're some king or kaiser or overlord, or highest leader, or overwatcher, or whatever you think you are, Gumfer. Gumfer, you're going to be fighting for. Yeah, call him the fake god if you want. We all know that all the gods in North folklore were all made up. They weren't true. You know, that the only true living god is God Almighty. But that doesn't stop being that you're a doll, and four is a doll, and you're both going to be wrestling here today on Monday Night Raw or Monday Night Raw. Alright? Now let's get that fight board out of here now. Because I don't think the war, the wrong between you two have been settled at all. And I thought you should come out here shot. First off, four says... It's time to put up or shut up. Yeah, we fight here. We wrestle here. And four, you'll be wrestling Goofer. Goofer, you're going to be wrestling four. Good day. Well, we just heard from John Bradshaw Lakefield, the main overseer of the Toy Wrestling Gathering, 
and he has set up the match between Gunther and Four here today on Monday Night Raw or Monday Night Raw. Tony Schiavone says, "Well, first off, Renee Young said Gunther likes to think that likes to think he's the greatest wrestler to ever come out of Austria Slam. You know, some folks might mistake him for coming from." Germish land or North land, but no, he came from Austria's land. But they speak Germish, they speak Norvish. Oh, when a young says, the truth is, Tony Schiavone said he doesn't have any on look for anyone or anything, anyone. And oh, Ford just knocked him down with his hammer. And I think Gumfer or Gumfer one day is going to learn. If you want to onlook, you got to get onlook. Oh! And he has a high, he has a high belief of himself. Sees himself as the greatest wrestler, the greatest fighter who ever lived, Tony Schiavone says. And once again, knocking down Goomfer with that hammer, Tony Schiavone says. Yeah, well, I can tell you one thing, Wade Barrett said. Why is he in the ring with a bloody fake god like four? We know the North God of Thunder. He wasn't true, you know. We don't want to shame anyone for their beliefs out there, Wade Barrett said. But he wasn't a true God. And the skull that Goomfer's beating his shit out of, he came from five and below. And Goomfer is going to be the greatest World Heavyweight Fighter we ever had, if or when he ever does win the World Heavyweight winnings. And Goomfer right now taking down four. And now, finally, he just might slam it for, Wade Barrett says. Well, that's not the end of it, Tony Schiavone says. As we know, Wade Barrett, Goomfer likes to put folks in sleepers. He likes to give them mic slams and then put them in sleepers. We've seen him do it on NXT UK, NXT, SmackDown, Raw, wherever he's wrestled before. It's foregone the yieldiness. Well, I don't know... If for the North God of Thunder or whatever, I don't know. Hopefully, he can get out of this sleeper. Renee Young says, "Wait, Barrett says he's not going to get out of this." You know. <clears throat> oh, and Ford just hit him again with that hammer. Renee Young says, and so far the fight keeper is letting Four work the hammer on Goofer. Oh, Goofer knocked down. From by four who came from five and below, from Goomfer who came from Walmart, Tony Javadi says. And Goomfer right now, in a bind right now, Renee Young says. You got that right, Tony Javadi said. Goomfer knocking down four with those hammer, a hammer shots to four, and the fight keeper has not, you know, told four that he couldn't work the hammer, Tony Javadi said. Wade Barrett said, someone has to uphold the oversight and tell Ford that he can't work the hammer. That it's, you know, unlawful in this match. And the match should be thrown out. And wait a minute. Goomfer came back again. Goomfer. Oh! <clears throat> Knocked down four. Now he got his foot caught in the rope again. Now he's getting him down. And the might slam. But now four is getting put out here by Goofer again. And will four get out of it this time, Tony Schiavone says. Now this time I don't think four is going to be winning, Wade Barrett says. I think Goofer is going to beat four here today on Monday Night Raw or Monday Night Raw. And it's going to be cool when that happens. It's not happening anything. Here is your winner. Here is your winner, Goomfer. Goomfer has beaten four once again here today on Monday Night Raw or Monday Night Raw. And Goomfer can think that he's the world's greatest wrestler or the world's greatest fighter or overstar or whatever you want to, whatever you, whatever you like to call you know, whatever, you know, whatever, you know, whatever you, you know, whatever you want to call them.
Oh, uh, Tony Savoy's great. But Ford did put up a good match. He put up a good fight against against Gunther here today. But I guess it just was not, you know, good enough. I'll tell you one thing, Renee Young says, this wrong, this war, whatever you want to call it, between Gunther and Ford, I don't really think it's over. Not at all. I don't think that Gunther is going to see the last of one half of the Avengers or the Eveners, you know. I can tell you one thing right now, Wade Barrett says, Thor isn't almighty at all. A lot of folks like to talk about Thor being almighty and, you know, if he's got that hammer with him, but every time he fights Gunther, Gunther, he ends up losing. Doesn't look almighty here. Well, we'll take it away now, Tony Schiavone says, to uh, Wade Barrett. I mean, to Mike Lane. <clears throat> Thank you, Tony Schiavone and Renee Young. I'm going to be talking with Gunther here today on Monday Night Raw or Moon Night Raw. All right, Gunther. Gunther, I believe that you still see yourself as the greatest wrestler and the greatest fighter. Yeah, Mike Lane, I see myself as, as the greatest wrestler and the greatest fighter. And I also know that I hell know that, you know, why I think I should be the world heavyweight fighter. You already saw all the things I did in WWE since I've been in WWE, and what I did so far since I've been in TWF, which has not really been that long. Well, you still have an ongoing war, or wrong with four, and even though, yes, you beat four here today, I don't think four is going to be done with you. Yeah, I keep on beating four every single, every time, every single time we fight or wrestle, I beat four. Sooner or later, four is going to learn that you can't beat the ring leader. And soon, I will be the world heavyweight fighter. Well, how are you going to do that? How am I going to do that? By wrestling. By fighting. That's how I'm going to, how I'm going to do it. You know, if they do break up the world heavyweight winnings from the TWF heavyweight winnings, they're not going to just give it to you. You're going to have to wrestle for it, to fight for it. And I wouldn't have any other way. Well, you, well, good luck with that then. I don't need any luck coming from a former N NHL play-by-play -play caller who thinks he's so cool because he called men running around with sticks smacking a, uh, a smally, some kind of, you know, dot around the ice, in an ice, in an ice ring. Well, that's my talk with Fuller. I mean, I mean, my talk with Gunther. Back to you, Tony Schiavone and Renee Young. Thank you, Mike Lane, for talking with Gunther here today on Monday Night Raw or Lone Night Raw. I mean, Moon Night Raw. And that's all the time we got here. I, Tony Schiavone, with Renee Young and Wade Barrett, we hope you like Monday Night Raw or Moon Night Raw, and we'll see you tomorrow for NXT.